Just in the Journal of American Heart Association found that adding avocados to your diet could reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and lower your cholesterol. Break out the guac. Dr. Shade Chanichin with the American Heart Association and Mercy Medical Group joins us now to break down this study. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Okay, I think a lot of people love avocados. You've heard of avocado toast. My personal favorite is guac on chips, but even on sandwiches, they are so good tasting. But now you say they are good for us as well. Yes, avocados are delicious. They're very versatile, but they're really good for you, especially your heart. Um, the studies have shown that if you incorporate one avocado a week, uh, your risk of cardiovascular disease is decreased by 16% and 21% of any coronary artery disease. And if you decrease um, your amount of um, other unhealthy fats like processed yes. meat or mayonnaise or butter um, with half a servings, um, it decreases half a servings of those with avocados, then your risk of cardiovascular disease is decreased from 16 to 20. 22%. So this is a pretty significant finding here um, and tasty findings, I, I would say. Uh, the kind of dishes that we need to be incorporating this, and I think you make a good point here, uh, we have to take away some of the bad fats and bad cholesterol and, and substitute in avocados. Is this any kind of avocado that we need to be making or is it just raw avocado? Uh, explain kind of some of the things that we can throw this into. Um, you can mix avocados in pretty much everything. Most of them, I mean, we use it as uh, raw avocados. Um, you can add them to your salad, your sandwiches, um, your wraps. Um, you can create your own recipes. Um, avocado toast is you know, everyone's favorite and making guac is another one. Um, but they pretty much fit into a lot of different recipes and American Heart Association has uh, some of those listed on the website as well. How important is it for people who have heart problems, who have cardiovascular disease, to try and incorporate this into our diet? There's a lot of food changes that come with trying to increase your numbers and, uh, and be more healthy. This could be a, a serious component in helping those numbers turn around, correct? Yes, absolutely. So um, I talk to my patients about their cholesterol numbers all the time. And we talk about boosting the healthy fat or the HDL cholesterol, your good cholesterol, um, and decreasing the bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol, which is the one that um, causes plaque and um, problems for your heart. And avocado does both of those. It increases your healthy fat and it decreases your bad fat that can uh, cause cardiovascular disease. So it's a perfect addition. Um, and if you don't already have a good healthy diet, it's a perfect substitution um, to get rid of some of those saturated fats and incorporate more avocados in your diet. And you guys have a ton of stuff on your website. I wanted to point this out. The American Heart Association website has a number of heart healthy avocado recipes. It's also kind of what I call a gateway fruit or a gateway drug. Eat avocados and you'll be on to better and, and uh, more fruits in the future, increasing your diet. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning with this new study out saying avocados can seriously help us with cardiovascular disease. Dr. Chanichin, thank you so much. Thanks right. for having me. Have no a great problem. day. 949 right now. Let's get over to Adam in the Weather Center. Adam, you like avocados? Yeah, one avocado a week. Totally, Sounds right? doable 